Uh, today we're going to um, look at uh, the operation of uh, DOSBox Portable to run QBasic. So if you're a student at the Narrow Anglican College, um, the first part of the process is going to show you how to actually get um, DOSBox Portable and QBasic from our file server and uh, put it into your removable storage device. Um, if you're not a student at Narrow Anglican College, um, jump into this tutorial um, when I go into the removable storage device. So the first part of the process, regardless, is to note the drive location that's been assigned to your removable uh, storage device. So in my case, this is uh, the G drive. Uh, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to go into our public file server, into our Year 10 student, 10 IST, and I'm going to copy these two folders that I've set up for you uh, into my removable storage device and just paste them into there. Now it's really important that they sit at that level direct, uh, uh, directly under um, the, uh, the main folder or the root directory. So uh, you'll see here now I've got DOSBox Portable and DOSProgs in my uh, removable storage device. So I'm going to go into DOSBox Portable and I'm actually going to run it. And the first thing I'm going to do is mount uh, my removable drive as the C drive. So to do that I type in mount uh, C space G. Now if your um, computer assigned that as E, uh, your removable storage device as E, that's the letter that you will assign here. Okay, And I want it to go to my DOS progs folder that I copied across. And so now, what in essence, when I start to run QBasic, uh, I'm going to uh, um, QBasic will think that the C drive, which is its default drive to save to, is now actually my G drive. Uh, so this allows us, firstly, um, to make um, QBasic run in a in an environment it was never designed to run in a Windows environment. So we've made a virtual DOS environment, so it will run, and also enables us to save. Um, straight to a location that we've nominated. Uh, so the next thing I'm going to do is change my directory to my C directory, uh, C colon backslash, uh, by typing C colon backslash, um, and remember that's in essence, or that's actually directed to my G directory, and then I can run the application of QBasic. Beautiful. I'm ready to go and write my um, my first app in QBasic. So we press the escape key and this will now allow us to program. So the first thing I'm going to do is write a little hello world application. So print inverted commas hello world and I'm going to end my program. Very important. Okay and now I can run my program. So to run my little application I can actually use the, uh, the keyboard shortcut here of uh, F5 and then I get my little program here saying hello world to me uh, and it's as simple as that so press any key to continue I get out now um, sometimes um, DOSBox won't let the mouse go outside of itself so if you need to get out if, if you have that problem if you press alt tab um, in typical Windows fashion that will allow you to change windows and exit out of things um, what I'm going to do now is save my application um, and um, it should allow me to save um, save program as and I can give it a name and I'll call it hello world and I can press OK and now this is where um, the beauty of DOSBox Portable comes in. If I now go, and here's this situation where I can't get out, I can't get out of the box, so I'll alt-tab myself out of here uh, and close this all down. And if I go now to my DOSProgs folder in, uh, in my, um, sorry, there it is, in my local drive, um, I've got my Hello World application. So um, that is a very, very short um, limited version of uh, how to run QBasic within DOSBox. Um, thank you for watching.